Okay, now we can start, Samira. So, hello everyone, and welcome back again to the Mycetoma Research Club. Uh, the Mycetoma Research Club will be taking place every two weeks. And uh, uh, this week, uh, we will be having Dr. Ala and Malih. Uh, Dr. Ala will talk to us about bioinformatics, bi biological uh, databases and resources. Dr. Ala is a pharmaceutical biotechnologist. She's also a lecturer at Ahfad University for Women. Dr. Ala, now the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, Samira. And first of all, let me thank Prof. Fahal for giving me this chance. And I'm glad to be with you today uh, and talking about bioinformatics and a different database in the bioinformatics. Uh, we can start by bioinformatics is... Bioinformatics is to design, construct, and use of a software tools to generate and store. Ala, I'm and sorry, yeah. Ala, sorry for interruption, but your your the slides are not moving and it's not in, on presentation mode. Now you are in introduction. I I, was, uh, I told you that the slides are not moving. Now I am in introduction in bio. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, okay. but can you put it in presentation mode? Because it's not. Ah, um... it's not in the presentation mode. Yes. Okay, I will put it. I will put it. Now, okay. now it appears as a presentation? Not yet, but the slide moved. You you change the slide, but not okay. now. Is it good? No, no. Not yet? Not yet. Let me stop sharing and start sharing again, okay? Okay. Audience. Uh, please, if you have any difficulties, uh, just feel free to type in the chat. Other audience, do you feel difficulty in following me with the slide or we can... I, I see that no one posted. No, no one said something in the chat, so you oh. can. Hello. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Hi, hello. Dr. Okay. Ala, it's so difficult to follow the really? slides. Okay, we can proceed by this way. And if any of you have a question or something didn't appear well, you can ask me at any time. Okay. So. Uh, my introduction is we can start by bioinformatics is to design construction and use of a software tool in order to generate and store, annotate and access and analysis data and information relating to molecular, molecular biology. Uh, there are different type of databases. Sorry. There are different type of databases, online databases and resource. But we need to know which database and resource exists and what tools are available to mine these resources and also what tools to search across these resources. As you can see in this picture, this is uh, a lot of uh, biological databases, but we need to know which one work which with part in order to use it. Uh, here in this, if you can see it clear, there is a, in order to complete understanding of a system, we need to understand first of all the biomolecule and then the DNA, which is built up from this biomolecule, the RNA after that, and the proteins, the signaling networks and the cells, organism and the environment. If we understand all this, by, we can complete the picture of understanding the biological system. Databases are either public or private, and also this depends on the accession and access to the database and the submission type. Uh, we can also divide it into according to the type of the data we included inside the, that database, into protein database, nucleotide database, or structure database, or literature database, or annotation database. We, can, we will go, go through some of them. Uh, also, we can divide them into generalized database or specialized. By this, I mean either it will be generalized like the NCBI 
or it is specialized with a specific disease or a specific uh, topic, so it will be specialized. Uh, also, it can be either sequence or genome centered. The importance of biological database is to centralize data repository, enable efficient storage and retrieval of biological data, and also to facilitate scientific researches uh, and to support the data drive discovery and advancement in biology. Uh, also, it can promote the data sharing and collaboration. It allows researchers to access and build upon shared knowledge. The type of data uh, database in biological database, we can divide it either based on the data type, as you can see here, into genomic, protein, or metabolic, or based on data resource, a type of a data resource, either it is primary or secondary. For the first type, which is based on the data type, we can divide them into genomic database. Uh, for real, it is about 10, but I choose the most three important one. Okay, the first one is the genomic database which is comprehensive repository of genomic data, including the DNA sequence, gene annotation, and genome assemblies. The second one is protein database, which is extensive collection of protein sequence, structures, and functional information. The third one is pathway databases, which is detailed maps of biological pathways and signaling network in a living organism. The genomic database, it is comprehensive genomic data, which is stored, as we said before, and provide access to the past collection of genomic sequence. Example for this are gene bank, ensemble, UCSC genome. There is one specialized, which is focused on a specific organism or gene or biological feature. There is other R integrative platform, which combine data from multiple sources for comprehensive genomic analysis. The application of genomic database for genome annotation is to identify and classify genome feature like gene regulatory region and repetitive element. Also, one of the application is comparative genomic which is analyzing evolutionary relationships and identifying conserved genomic region across the species. The third application for genomic databases is disease association study, which is linking genetic variation to disease susceptibility and drug response. And we can get use of this database in studying different type of disease. The second type is protein database. From its name, it is store and organize protein sequence information from various resources and provide detailed annotation and curation of protein sequence. Example for this are Uniprot, Rift sequence, and GeneBank protein database. Protein structure database. In this database, you can find the structure of protein. We know, for example, as a pharmacist, in order to design the drug, we need to know the structure of the uh, protein in order to design structure of the drug. So we can find the structure of protein in protein data bank. There is a comprehensive repository of 3D protein structure. And also in the scope database, which uh, provide structural classification of protein based on evolutionary and structural relationship. The third one is a pathway database, database that cover a wide range of metabolic pathway across the organism. There is some type of them are specialized database, which are focused on a specific pathway or organism specific metabolic network. Uh, some of them, they have visualization tool, which is tool to interactively explore and visualize metabolic pathway information. You can follow with me easily. Yes, Anna. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
In this picture, there is a different type of biological database. I don't know why it go back. Okay, the importance of biological bio database, we said before, sorry. Okay, now we are here. The disease pathway database. In this database, there is a comprehensive pathway data, the database that provides detailed information on disease-related metabolic and signaling pathway. Also, they provide pathway disease association, this database that link specific pathway to associated disease and disorder. And there is a database that for therapeutic pathway inside. In this dat database, it offer insight into potential therapeutic target within the disease pathway. Uh, as I said before, the type for biological dat database, either it could be divided according to the type of data like this one or the one i said before to the type of the data now we came to the next one which is according to or based on the data resource either it is primary or secondary the primary one is international the most important one is international international nucleotide sequence database collaboration which is stand for insdc this is a genomic sequence stored in three databases. The first one is DDBG, which is DNA Data Bank in Japan, and NCBI, which is uh, in uh, N a nucleotide sequence L NCBI, and ENA EBL, which is European Nucleotide Archive, and EBI is European Bioinformatic Institute. This is a genomic sequence stored in this three public database, each have own accession number and tools. The most popular bioinformatic resource, the first one is National Center for Biotechnology Information, which is NCBI, and the European Bioinformatic Institute, which is EMBL. The National Center for Biotechnology Information, it is the Institute of Health funded, established to store molecular biology information. It's grown dramatically since the completion of or completion of the human genome project and reduction in sequence cost. Uh, it developed and maintained a variety of database and resource. This, in this slide, you can see the browser for the NCBI. Here is a gene bank. The gene bank contains a notated collection of all publicity available DNA sequence. All the DNA sequence, you can find it in the GB, G, G, gene bank. And it is a part of an INSDC. The database is updated on a regular basis, approximately every two months. There is a several division within the gene bank. There is a complete microbial genome, whole genome, shotgun sequence, transcriptome, shotgun assembly sequence, and also there is a high throughput gene genomic sequence and the targeted locus study and the third party annotation. All these are division inside the gene bank. Here in this slide, you can see that NCBI not only include the DNA data, but also it include other type of data. For example, gene, gene and expression, genomic and map, homology modeling, and all other type of the database. We came to the second type or the second most popular uh, database, which is an EBI. It maintains the world's most comprehensive range of freely available and up-to-date molecular database. It offers online and live training events for using the resource. I put this because, because you can use it, for example, for your student or maybe in your researcher in your lab. They can access this uh, link and they can get free training for this website or this database. This is the browser for the ABI. Biological analysis tool, we can use 
now we know which is a tool or database. We can use this tool in order to do sequence alignment, tool for combining and analyzing DNA, protein, and sequence uh, in order to know which, uh, if there is a mutation, if there is a change in the sequence of the reference sequence from the, the sequence we get from the patient. For those who are not familiar with uh, this term, we, when we say reference sequence is a sequence that we put it as a reference and then we do for patient and control and then we come to align all these sequence under each other to see if there is a mutation or not. This is one of the application for uh, or analysis tool. The second one is phylogenetic analysis. Phylogenetic analysis to reconstruct evolutionary relationship between the organism. The third one is the structural modeling. It's to predict the 3D structure of protein um, molecule. Finally, I will leave you with a popular database. Uh, I'm sorry if the slide crowded, but I prepared it with animation to appear one by one. But uh, as you can see, there is the one, the first one is genes, which, which is for one stop resource for all annotation information for gene. PubMed, maybe most of you are familiar with this one. It is extensive biomedical literature database. Nucleotide is a database of all DNA sequence. Uh, DBSNP is the database for sing single nucleotide polymorphism. Protein is a database of protein sequence. RIF sequence, this is the one I talked before in the previous slide. In this database, you can find comprehensive, integrated, well-annotated set of a reference sequence, genomic, transcript, and protein. OMIM is the online Mendelian inheritance in man. It provides database of human gene and genetic phenotype. And the last one is CLIMVAR, which is database of genomic variation and for relationship. That is all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hala, for this uh, nice presentation and for taking us through the biological databases. And now the floor is open for any questions or comments. And so, and I'm have... sorry for the technical problem that happened. It's, it's I prepared fine, the no slide words. to be with the animation to appear uh, line by line, but I'm so sorry for the technical problem that happened. It's totally fine. So now the floor is open for questions or comments. I think Ala, there, there's a question uh, in the chat. Sure. Uh, okay. Yes, um, someone was trying to, is it Amri? Yeah, this is Salam Alaikum. I'm the one that asked the question about uh, the therapeutic uh, insight. So in one of the slides, he said uh, mm -hmm. the database can be used for therapeutic, mm -hmm. uh, to have more insight on therapeutics, which I wanted to know which type of therapeutics is it. Is it related to vaccine uh, target or related to drug target or generally? Ah, okay. yeah, I, okay, okay, thank you for the question. Uh, I mean by this for drug, for the vaccine, we have in bioinformatics something called immunoinformatics. This is a separate part and uh, it is the division of the bioinformatics deal with the vaccine and antibody. It can measure how an antibody antigen bind. This is called immunoinformatics. But here when I mention therapeutic, I mean for drug. I hope it's clear for you now. Well, Ala, I have a question. Yeah. Are, are these happened? databases accessible oh. for everyone? Or you just require a certain subscription or something similar? Yeah, good question. If you remember in the second or third slide, uh, there is the mention for that regarding they divided according to the access, either open or 
uh, it need a subscription. Some of them are free. You can access and you can do uh, some of the tools. You can use some of the tool, but some of them they need from you. You in in order to use the tool, you need to like uh, package. You buy a package and then you can use all the tool inside the website and database. Oh, okay. But Thank most you. of them are free. For example, NCBI is free. You can do all the tool, you can access all the data inside the NCBI, so it is free. PubMed okay. also it is free. Usually the one that is specialized, it needs uh, to have a package to use them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Before you know, before they, you have to upload, uh, you have to download them and set up them in your laptop or in your computer. But now most of them they become like a website, so you can access everything during with this website. No need to set up and to download the program. Oh, that's easier. That's yeah, much yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And the use of AI also. It, uh, it helps a lot in the visualization. Most of them now using AI, artificial intelligence, in order to, became, to, to make their visualization tool more proper or more elegant. Okay. So. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you, Dr. Ala, for the nice presentation. Uh, I have um, a preliminary data for single nucleotide polymorphism for cytokines, a uh -huh. um, couple of cytokines. Uh, uh -huh. can, do you or you can help us in uh, uh, doing the haplotypes or uh, uh, the, um, for example, uh, there is any linkage disequilibrium between these uh, SNPs in mm -hmm. this? Uh, can we communicate together if possible? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure, yeah. sure. I, I will be more than welcome, mm -hmm. Yanni, to, to contribute with you and yeah, okay. uh, to collaborate. Uh, feel free to reach me out in my email. Okay, I will sure. put it also in the chat. And okay. I will be more than happy to help or to collaborate. Unfortunately, the sample size is not that big. Uh, we have almost about 60 patients, my stoma patients, mm -hmm. um, um, classified in two different groups, one after surgery and one before surgery. Okay. Uh, we did the cytokine um, levels, and now okay. we have the data for, mm -hmm. for the SNPs for mm -hmm. two three cytokines. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, great. Uh, you know, even even if it's a sample is small, you can get yeah. a little bit in for inside, and oh. you can use it for further research. So yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I put my email in the chat, and feel free to me reach me at any time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <clears throat> Ala, I see there's yeah. a question in the chat from Shashi asking any software any software to perform the bioinformatics. Uh, okay, now I read the question. Just to clarify, you mean TGE? Sashi, if you are uh, hear me, did you mean TGE bioinformatics? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Can you clarify for me, TG, TGE? Sorry. The TGE is, is to is a type mm -hmm. error. The bioinformatics to say the bioinformatics. Mm -hmm. N rather than uh, is the question is uh, what softwares are being used to perform the bioinformatics mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. okay it is rather than for example uh, immunoinformatics what type of data you have you want to analyze by using this software 
what type of data Hello? you want to analyze by using this software? For example, for DNA sequencing, alignment. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, okay. DNA sequencing, you can use NCBI. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's free and free to access, and you can uh, use it for PLAST, first of all. And then after you do the alignment for the two sequence, you can go through the sequence and to see which gene you want to look for it. It will be simple. But if you do, for example, if you do, if you do for example, if you do whole genome sequencing, in this case, you will you have a big data. So you need to either look in a specific uh, region. If you know the region that, that uh, for example, the disease uh, will affect this region, you can look at the specific region. Or you can use other software. Okay. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi, Ala. Hi, Prof. Uh, thank you very much for this nice and uh, educational session. I think it's one of the best session we have in the last few weeks. Thank you. Have a information, lot of information about the biohermetic. We are really, we are very much dugging behind this field of science. We need to have more sessions on bioinformatics so we can have more education about how can we deal with these samples, how can we reach the diagnosis, and how can we utilize techniques for treatment, for diagnosis, for vaccine formation, uh, and for a lot of other 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 other, other research issues. I am more than welcome, bro. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for you to give me this chance to present this topic. Thank you so much. No. No, thank you very much. Thank you. Amro, nice, nice to see you in the club, Amro. Amro, hello? I think uh, I think Amro has a connection issue. Is... Okay. okay, but Ala will be joining us. Uh, it's uh, It will be a series of sessions. Okay, that fine. Was, yeah. That was, we were planning for this actually. Yeah. Yeah, inshallah. Uh, 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 please note that all these sessions are recorded and available at the Massive Emergency Center website, so we can go and see. <clears throat> Professor Limia, any comment on our side? Assalamu <clears throat> uh, alaikum, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> hello, everyone. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, Dr. Ala's talk. It was uh, very insightful. It was uh, really great to know... Uh, all this information and yes it would be a great idea if there is a series of uh, of presentations like this that would be great because i think most of us need to know more about uh, this topic so thank you very much it was really enjoyable shukran yeah welcome thank you dr limia i love you. Please, you can share with me in my email if you need me to talk on a specific topic in bioinformatics. And even if you want for me to conduct, for example, one of the club to be like uh, a practical from my side, to do it practical in front of you, uh, I will be happy and glad to do this. No, I think we can do this through the Mycetoma tutorial group. Okay, okay. These practicals can be also... Uh for the Mycetoma tutorial group. Okay, okay, I'm glad to do this, no problem. And even regarding the, the database, how to access, what to use it, how to use it, uh, at any time, I'm, 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 I am available, <laughs> okay? Thank you so much, Ala. Thank yeah, you. thank you for having me. So, if anyone has a question or a comment, Yes, Dr. Abdullah. Dr. Abdullah, any comment? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good afternoon or good evening uh, for everyone. 
I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm so sorry that I joined very late after and I, the presentation has been done by Ala, but I'm, I'm sure it was of very good quality. And also I'm sure that uh, the bioinformatic tools is not only about uh, being a bioinformatic specialist. We as a scientist, we need to understand the basics of bioinformatics in order to understand the language and uh, in that case, we'll be very successful in developing uh, the correct and setting up the correct sequencing experiment. And also we can make sense of the data. And of course, we need to hire a bioinformatics specialist in, in our labs or consult uh, specialized companies. But at least we would like to know exactly what uh, data we can get from the sequence reads from the sequence data and we can maximize the, the benefit of uh, this sequence experiment by understanding the basics of uh, bioinformatics. Uh, I'm very happy that this is already happening here in this uh, research club, and I wish to see more sessions about this. Thank you. Thank you, Prof. Thank you, Dr. Abdullah. Uh, if there is no other question, comment. Samira, can you tell us about our online uh, training module? Okay, I don't see neither. I can't see neither a raise hand nor a comment a comment in the chat. But uh, I'll start talking about the Mycetoma online training module. Uh, the we have currently we have four modules. We have one about mycetoma in general, and then we have a module on mycetoma clinical pharmacy. And we have a module on the clinical laboratory diagnosis and another one on research ethics and other, other, other issues related to, to research. Mm -hmm. And these uh, modules are free, of are free of charge. And by, complete, by completing the courses, you get a certificate, a uh, certificate of completion. And everyone is welcome to, to, join, the, to join and participate in these modules. Okay. Can can we have the the link to that, uh, Samira? Okay, I, I'll just try to post it in the chat. Yeah. Thank you. Samira, I see question in the chat. It's asked how can we join the module. Okay. Um, you can contact me to join the module, or I'll I'll post the link right now. I'm just trying to find the link. But you, but you still you need a login and a password, Samira. Yes, for 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 creating this account, uh, you can contact me either through WhatsApp or through our email, and I can just uh, make you an account, and and then you can join. Thank you. I think Samira in the system we should have this facility, so people they can join through the system. They can join and they can have the login and the password and they can start uh, uh, negotiating through the uh, uh, through this uh, this module. Yes, for sure, bro. Thank you. Okay, then we can call it a day. And when can we meet next time, Samira? Uh, 5th of November, because okay. uh, we, we've shifted our meetings. Uh, it became every two weeks, because we know that people have busy schedules and to just come over every week. Oh, cool. fine. Uh, all right. So, uh, Prof, I just wanted to add that if anyone is interested to present in the club, uh, you can mm. contact us either through via WhatsApp or, or the or our, our email, um, researchclub at mycetoma.edu.sd, and we will just uh, schedule that. So anyone oh. is welcome to, to present. Okay, thank you very much, Samira. Okay. Uh, Prof, would you like to add a comment? No, thank you very much. I would like just to thank everybody for being here uh, and join 
at this club and sharing experience. And we enjoyed very much the presentation and the talk and the discussion. And we look forward for more uh, uh, fruitful and useful meetings. And uh, I wish you all the luck for your career and for your, your prospect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prof. I've, I've posted the link to the Mycetoma online module and, uh, and the research club email. So just uh, feel free to uh, get in contact. And okay. Ala, would you like to add anything before we... No, end? I want to thanks again, Prof. for giving me this chance. Uh, and also, I would like to thank all the audience. And I will confirm I am here and I, I will prepare a series of lecture uh, or a session on this topic. And uh, I will be available at any time for any help. Uh, please don't hesitate to reach me out on my email. Thank you okay. so much. I like, uh, can we talk after the meeting, please? Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All bro. right. You. Have a nice time. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye, bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Thank you all you. for joining today. Thank you. Until bye. we bye. meet next time. Inshallah. Have a good day. Inshallah. Bye. Bye. bye.